Well, I think with the James Tate Black Prize, it stands out in two ways. Uh, there's the history of it. It goes back a considerable period. With uh, It's lacking in the conspicuous commercial uh, funding that's very obvious for a lot of the other prizes. And more importantly, the fact that the judging panel are largely made up of postgraduate students, I think, gives the judges uh, objectivity that a lot of judges in the hustle and bustle of contemporary literature don't actually have. I think they come with, uh, I think they come with, with an open mind to the books. So you do feel you're experiencing uh, unprejudiced readers who are not influenced by the publishing industry and do seem to be reading for that pure thing, the thing that matters the most, which is the relationship with a book, how it affects you, how it moves you, how it stays with you. So what I like about the James Tate Black is that sense of independence that it retains. So that's why I'm, I'm so happy to, to win. I mean, a lot of prizes now are, are led by, in a sense, led by a sort of celebrity culture um, that the judges uh, um, are chosen, not always for the right reasons, but listening to um, the two, two members of the English department talking about the biographies and the fiction prizes this evening, they were so eloquent, so well informed, and then the thought that, um, that postgraduate students uh, had been deeply involved in the selection uh, of the shortlist was indescribably moving and I'm sure they'll all go on to great things. I mean, what a privilege for them, but also what a privilege for me that, that really young people saw the point of my book. So I can't tell you how pleased I am, really. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.